It's been a long time. I shouldn't have left y'all. I shouldn't have did it. <laughs> Welcome back to Eddie B TV. I am of course Eddie B. Nice to see y'all. And we are back at you again today for another reaction video. And uh, today uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, continue on with uh, another episode of Gimme 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 from uh, Kathy Burke and uh, James Dreyfus. Um, I'm four episodes into this show already, and I'm already having a, um, a hell of a good time with it. Uh, still got to get to know all of the, the lingo and the language and stuff that comes with it, but either way, still having fun. Most of the stuff I can pretty much understand on the surface, but uh, yeah, man, uh, we're going to go ahead and pick up with another one of these today, and that's going to be uh, episode five, and this one is going to be titled Saturday Night Diva. Hmm. Okay, I can only imagine what this one's going to be about. Um, you guys know me, who, who, who watch me enough know that sometimes titles can be very uh, vague and deceiving. But uh, once everything gets going, you know, I usually just kind of like just, you know, get into it and the things start to make sense. But sometimes I can be pretty slow, but hey, 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 hey. we're here again and hopefully we're just going to, uh, yeah, have another good time with this one. So yes, we're going to go ahead and get into it. Like I said, Gimme, Gimme, Gimme with uh, Season 1, Episode 5. Um, Saturday Night Diva and if you like this reaction please click on the like button for me one time subscribe to the channel ring that bell and uh, leave a nice comment for your boy if you please uh, constructive critiques leave a nice suggestion or request and uh, throw a couple jabs jokes and ah, zingers at me friendly dialogue no drama here alright yeah, I had to exhale a little bit on that one needed more power you understand but uh, <laughs> yeah man good to be back man I had uh, another long work week man just Trying to find different ways to get more content out so that way I'm not, you know, burning myself out or whatever. Coming up with different ways, so just bear with me and uh, hopefully we can, uh, you know, just continue to keep on having fun with one another. You understand me? So, uh, yeah, first things, uh, a couple of things I just wanted to say. Uh, one, congratulations to my Seattle Kraken. Um, they won their first ever playoff series in franchise history, and uh, they're moving on uh, to play the Dallas Stars because they just beat the Colorado Avalanche, the defending Stanley Cup champions, and uh, that's just a big deal for us. Second year only in the NHL, and we're in the playoffs when we win our first playoff series. That's a, definitely a record for our Seattle teams, man, because uh, it usually took like at least a decade for us to get our first you know, taste of what playoff uh, sports was about here. And uh, not only that, my Seattle Seahawks just finished up with the NFL draft. Got a lot of pretty good players, if I may say so. Uh, everyone's getting all ready for this season and all that. So, yeah, be on the lookout for my Seattle Seahawks. And not only that, just the other day, my Mariners ugh, almost got swept again. They ain't doing too well to start off the season, man. But, uh, you know, I still rock with them no matter what. And uh, we won the finale of the game against Toronto. And uh, it was a comeback win, but we made it happen. And, uh, yeah, we got one coming on tonight, and I will be front and center for that one. But, yeah, that's all I wanted to say about that. I'm ready. Are you guys? Let's do this. Gimme, gimme, gimme with Season 1, Episode 5, Saturday Night Diva, right here on Eddie B TV. Glad to be back one more time, y'all. Let's have some more fun with this one. Oh, yeah, man. Some days I be so tired, man. I just don't even want to lift up nothing to even get nothing started. But, yeah, we here one more time. <laughs> All right, let's get situated with this one here, and here we go. Saturday night, oh, na 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 Pretty oh. baby. <laughs> Saturday night, ba na 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 Do you think I look like Peter Mandelson? <laughs> no. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Come on, baby. Do you think Peter Mandelson's gay? No way, Jose. Oh, like you'd know. What is it with you homosexuals? What? Convinced that every other bloke on the planet's an homosexual as well. <laughs> You're obsessed. <laughs> anyway, how do you know Peter Mandelson's straight? Ah. The reason I know Peter Mandelson is an heterosexual as opposed to an homosexual is because I have first-hand experience of his wanton carnal appetite. <laughs> Like when? 
Like when I was down the South Bank, the night Labour got in, me and 10 million others singing things can only get better. Monsieur Le Manderson squeezed past me in the queue for the kebabs, and I can tell you now, it was practically penetration. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Saturday night... Oh, da, 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 da. stop it! I don't know what flipping night it is without you caterwauling that odious piece of music at my head. Caterwauling. Ooh, you big fat homo. <laughs> <laughs> Here. Have a face pack. Do you want aloe vera or see you silla? I'm just admiring Thora Heard's box room, actually. <laughs> <laughs> actually, can I just take a little bit of time out to admire Thora Heard full stop? She's a lass from Lancashire with a heart of gold. Half hip replacement, half hot pot. <laughs> <laughs> aloe vera, please. In fact, I, I can't say I've ever met or heard of another Thora. I mean, what's that all about? Eh? Maybe I'd get on in acting if I had a unique name. You know what you need, mate? What? Feng Shui. It's all in this magazine. Feng the reason why you can't get any acting work is because your drawers are in the wrong place. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon if you rearrange your room, you'd be in Silent Witness by Christmas. <laughs> I've been in Silent Witness. Yeah, well, maybe this time you won't fall off the slab. <laughs> yeah, you know, there's a Feng Shui exhibition on at Earl's Court tomorrow. Why don't you come with me? Oh, no. What? I suddenly feel terribly old. Well, carry on with your face pack. It takes years off you. No, no, but look at me, Linda. Oh, do I have to? <laughs> it's Saturday night and what am I doing? Well, you're doing my head in, mush. I'm sitting in, pigging out, drinking wine, slapping mud on my face and planning a sunny run out to a craft fair. It ain't a craft fair, it's Fengal Shui. <laughs> no, 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 no. This is not going to happen. I mean, not so long ago, I'd be zipping up my party pants, doing a bucket load of drugs and painting the town pink. Now I'm knocking 30 and I've transmogrified into Anne Widdicom. <laughs> <laughs> it's Anne it's all right to stay in, you know. There's a Leonardo DiCaprio film on later where he bears all. Oh, couldn't give a monkey's if he sticks a feather up his ass and sings YMCA. <laughs> Linda, <laughs> it's Saturday night. Come on, slap your war paint on, let's go clubbing like the old days. Oh, I can't oh, be asked. Right. Who are you ringing? Real friends. True friends. OK. <laughs> Loyal friends. Oh, all right. Let's get it on. Hey, Dexy. Hey, it's Tom. How's it going? Fancy meeting in town for a drink? Well, I found these new pills. Yeah? Called Tony Blair's. Make you grin like a Cheshire cat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, the wicked boy. <laughs> no? All right. Well, when Leonardo calls. Anyway, you've got to go now. Bye. <laughs> Are you trying to kid? You know drugs don't agree with you. They just make you paranoid the next day. You say everyone in LO magazine's freaking you out. <laughs> you don't get a come down with ecstasy. <laughs> That's like saying you don't get reward points with Sainsbury's. <laughs> anyway, I thought we'd put a stop to all that. Oh, God, you foolish, foolish child. I was just trying to tempt Dexy out. I mean, you take everything so literally, don't you? I mean, as <clears> if <throat> I'd do drugs. I mean, as if. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't intend to sit around all night watching some pube-free adolescent getting his kit off. I'm going out. What about me? I asked you if you wanted to come and you said no. Which, by the bloody by, ruins my pulling chances, quite frankly. Aye? The sight of you gyrating around in skin-tight lycra is enough to turn any man queer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> so? You think I'm glued to that stupid little box, do you? You think I can't survive a week on this planet without my weekly fix of NHS drama, huh? You really don't know me at all, do you, Linda LeHughes? I'll tape it for you, shall I? Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That's how much they know each other, man. That's real. It's a Spice Girl song, isn't it? Oh. Where you gotta go, baby? We're doing it. <laughs> What's she gonna do? Oh, no. Who is it? 
The open cherry hole. <laughs> Linda, hi. What can I do you for? I'm on an errand of a rather personal nature. Personal's my middle name. Fire away. <laughs> <laughs> well, I had some undies on my clothes made into dry right next to my open window when a slight gust sucked them off and dropped them onto your patio. <laughs> um, I hate to share this with you, Jez, but my back opening's tight shut and I just can't loosen it. <laughs> I was wondering, would you retrieve said undergarments for me, please? Is it a bra? <laughs> Panties. Panties. <laughs> I'd rather you didn't look at them. They're quite contemporary. <laughs> Hang on, two ticks. <laughs> What's he <you> doing? <laughs> Are these there? No, you cheeky bastard. <laughs> I'll have those, thank you. Go and get mine. Didn't need you coming down the stairs. Well, you wouldn't. Look at my feet. <laughs> They bring the floor up. Lovely. That's actually a good idea. <laughs> I don't think these are scissors. Uh, no. That's my bounce. <laughs> yeah. Sue's not a bounce. No, no, no. She's out for the evening. Oh, shame. Yes, ever since she went on the game, hardly ever see her. <laughs> oh! <laughs> you wouldn't let me to have a bottle opener, would you? Of course, babe. I'll just go and get it. Oh. <laughs> I'm surprised you don't have a bottle opener, Linda. Oh, we do, but um, Tom's taking it out with him. Oh, what, by accident? Oh, uh, no, he's taking a shine to it. <laughs> yeah, you have to nail everything down when they come from a broken home. <laughs> um, would you mind opening it for me, please? I hurt my oh. wrist in an encounter with a cross-country runner this morning. <laughs> sure. Uh, would you care to join me for a little drink? <laughs> a quiet Saturday evening. Beautiful woman. Uh. I'd be a fool to say no. <laughs> uh. Then get that wrist action going, baby. I want to hear my cock go pop. I'm not drunk, I'm not drunk. I've just got, um, um, rather a bad inner ear infection. All my life, I've longed to meet someone with an inner ear infection. Really? Can I buy you a drink? Um... Double brandy and coke. No ice. Well, it waters it down, you know. <laughs> Saints. Well, it's that fusion of black and white. You can't beat it, can you, Jez? Well, obviously, you're married to Sue's. Yes, it doesn't mean we sit around all day singing Ebony and Ivory. Really? Oh. <laughs> you know who I love? Lionel Richie. Remember that? Hello? Is it me you're looking for? Remember that? I thought a video for that was brilliant. That should have won an Oscar. That poor blind woman feeding his face and then making a model of it. That's talent, that is. Well, I just assumed she was an actress. Really? She was black, wasn't she? I can't really remember, actually. Jeez, this is your heritage we're talking about here. <laughs> is it? Here, yeah. oh. Bob Marley. He was great, wasn't he? No woman, no cry. <laughs> what do you think he meant by that, then, eh? Huh? Gosh, Linda. You're so knowledgeable about black culture, I mean, uh, really. <laughs> Tell me, what's your take on Idi Amin? 
Oh, I love him. <laughs> he, he's like a second father to me. <laughs> well, I'm a minority group myself, ain't I? Oh. Red hair. Oh. Of course. <laughs> That's in the history books. After the chapter on the slave trade. Oh. <laughs> you know, I should have been black, really. You know, it's just a fluke of nature that I weren't. <laughs> yes, and I'm sure having white parents didn't help either. <laughs> Irish parents, that, I mean, that's practically black in this country, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, where's, uh, where's Sue's oh, tonight, then? Man. Oh, she's at the women's meeting. Yes. Uh, <laughs> I wish I was there, too, actually. Tonight they're dancing naked around a campfire on Hackney Marshes. <laughs> Why go to Acne when you got Evan on a plate right here, eh? <laughs> <laughs> so how long have you uh, been with Thingy? Oh. Uh, Suze, uh, three years. Oh, I bet you're gagging for a nibble on a different plate of muffins. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 not really, no. She means the world to me. Oh, you happily married then, eh? Mm. No, that's great. No, really, Jez, that is great, you know. But I really don't think I'm the uh, settling down type, you know. I really don't think I could be that boring. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think I'm boring? I don't find married life boring per se. I mean, I have a good job, a lovely kitchen, uh, weekend breaks, fabulous orgasms. No, the only thing I'm unhappy about is... Um... <laughs> no, no. You don't want to hear this. Oh, no, Jez. You could tell me if you've got a little problem. I'm a trained Samaritan. Oh, yeah. I mean, I don't do it no more, but when I did, I was knockout. I mean, I spoke to all sorts, black and white. Now, sometimes I didn't even ask them what colour they were. So why did you stop? Well, they don't bloody pay you, do they, love? I mean, I'm not a charity, am I? <laughs> so what oh, I'm saying God. to you is, Jez, you know, if you've got a little problem, you know, just tell me. You want to offload, divulge, spill? <laughs> you know, just let me know. No, no, I'd, I'd rather not. Now, go on, just tell me one little thing about Suze you don't like. Go on. Now, go on, does she stink? No. <laughs> no, I bet she does. I bet she's rank, isn't she? Oh. No, 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 no. Oh. She, she, she smells lovely. Oh. No, the only thing we disagree about is, well, I really want to get back to my Sunday league football, but Suze says that Sundays are our time. Ah, oh, what? So it's all right for her to go cavorting around, start bollock naked with a load of lesbians on a Saturday night. <laughs> but it ain't all right for you to have your football on a Sunday morning. You know what I'd do? What? Ditch the bitch. <laughs> We're married. For better or for worse. Ditch the well, bitch. Have an affair then. <laughs> Linda, you tickle me. <laughs> do I? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Are you ticklish, Jez? <laughs> yes. Are you? Well, are you ticklish? Well, are I you just... ticklish? No, now, just... go on, let me see how ticklish no. you are. No, no, Linda, no, 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 Linda, no, 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 Linda! All right. <laughs> no, Linda. Is that tickling no. you? Linda, come on now. I'm going to the loo. Yeah, finish off what I started. <laughs> <laughs> It's 3.15, Just three shakes of a monkey's tail, sir. Are you sure you didn't take no drugs? No, no, I just can't stop dancing. Could you turn the music up a bit, please? I'm afraid that's my watch, sir. Ticking. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> Fantastic. Hold it up here. Oh, Beverly Ann, could you get the keys for 315, please? Can do, Beverly Jane. <laughs> Did you have a good evening, sir? I am twat. Is that a Welsh name, sir? <laughs> One five, sir. Grazie. Off your face on pills, sir. No, no, just feeling very energetic. And this is not what you think, OK? We are brothers. And we're only sharing one room because it's cheaper than two. Good night. Good night, sir. And happy shagging. <laughs> Do you think they want drugs, Beverly Jane? I don't know about him, but I'm buzzing my nut off, Beverly Ann. <laughs> <laughs> Me too, Beverly Jane. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> what you sprained your wrist? I have. Oh. I'm in agony. <laughs> Go on, you do it. I'm in agony. And hurry up, I'm dry. <laughs> <laughs>
So what were we talking about? I don't know. Can't remember everything, can I? All right, so I'm a little bit tipsy. Yes, and the Titanic was a little bit wet. I had family on that boat. <laughs> actually, I think it... I think I should leave, oh. actually. Oh, look, I was only tickling you. You got a one-track mind. Well, you can't get arrested for tickling, you know. Well, I suppose you can if there's a very big age gap. <laughs> Are you sure you should have another? Oh, what, so I can't have a little drink in my own home now? I mean, is there a law against that now as well, eh? Lock me up and throw away the key. I was smiling. <laughs> <laughs> oh, who's that? Every time I'm in with a chance, there's a knock. <laughs> Everyone wants a piece of me. They're squeezing me, Jess. They're squeezing me. Linda, <laughs> is Jess here? Oh, bloody hell, it's snow white with hemorrhoids. <laughs> <laughs> there's got to be some reason for that constant pain smile. <laughs> Did I say you could come in? Uh, well, uh, we'll, we'll go, we'll go. No, I don't. I'm drunk. I might do myself an injury. On your conscience, be it. And you, I've heard all about you, knitting all the black men so there's none left for the black women. Why are you being so nasty? Cos I wanna be. <laughs> Why are you back so early? No black men for you to nick. <laughs> it's a woman-only group. Lesbian. <laughs> and it was a tad on the chilly side, so Wendy suggested we all go back to her place and do it round a three-bar fire. Only when I saw she was council, I just thought, home. <gasps> home. <laughs> Is that what you thought? Home. I'm not experiencing a totally tickety-boo situation here, Pumpkin. Yeah, well, he wouldn't be a pumpkin if you let him play his Sunday morning football. Have you got footballer's legs, Jess? Let me see. Go on, let me see your legs. No, Linda, Look, no. I'm being rebirthed in the morn. I can't afford too late tonight. Let me see your legs, Jess. Go on, please, oh, let me see your legs. Oh. Ciao, Linda. <laughs> <laughs> Out for the count. Quick, quick, quick. Love bite check, love bite check. <laughs> oh. No, no. His name was Nino, Italian. On holiday, flies back to Milano today. Posh hotel in Mayfair, had about, ooh, what, about five minutes sleep. Didn't take any drugs, did you? I don't want you getting paranoid on me. Oh. Don't be so ridiculous. Of course I didn't do any drugs. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? It's only a loaf. Well, cover it up. It's freaking me out. <laughs> Oh, my God, a loaf of bread, <laughs> What's that doing there? It's the toaster. Well, why is it staring at me? Why? <laughs> oh. <laughs> you sure you didn't take any drugs? <laughs> it's the police. They're going to do a drugs bust. No, they'll bag us up for life. Ow, I'm a good girl, I am. <laughs> leave a message. <laughs> Tom, it's a Nino. I wanted to say goodbye. My taxi will be passing your house. I pop in, say goodbye. Maybe you're not back yet. Ciao. God, no, he can't see me. What am I going to do? Calm down. What's the matter? <sighs> Was he a dog? <laughs> Lindy, I told him the smallest of porkies last night. Like what? That I'm a top British actor in a soap opera called Up West. Up West? Yeah. I play Dirk Beauregard, the ladies' man with a roving eye and a mobile sandwich business. <laughs> Why'd you give him your address then, you stupid prat? Well, I fancied a postcard of Italy. I didn't think he'd shoot straight over. Oh, God, that's him! Oh, no, it's only Beryl. <laughs> Beryl had a Scottish evening last night. Reenie got out Brigadoon on video and made Dundee cake, only Beryl can't stand it, so she's giving it to you. Did Beryl get pissed on Tenant Super and develop a life-threatening crack habit? That's Scottish. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a misconception. <laughs> Something up? Tell her. No, you tell her, you tell her. Oh, sock it to me, quick. His dirty bit of trade's coming over and he thinks Tommy is a big soap star cos Tommy told him so. Is the trade backward? <laughs> Italian. So, any advice? Go out. Oh, I should. God, you ridiculous woman. 
Actually, that's not a bad idea. Oh, you don't get far in prostitution without being inventive. <laughs> Come to the Feng Shui exhibition with me. It's very calming, isn't it, Feng Shui? It's very calming. Yes, it is. Right. Linda, <coughs> grab your pack -a mac Oh, that'll be really come back for her bagpipes. What is a pack of mac I think I might know, but someone tell me. You're never Rini's grandson. You're very tall for 18 months. Is it tall, Min? No, no. Allow me to introduce myself. Beryl Merritt, Tom's PA. He was called away unexpectedly to film Call Your Bluff. Miss Tuxvig, my, how you've grown. <laughs> I like that old um, lady. Look, there's, um, there's something I wanted to tell you, but um, you're not going to be overly impressed, so, uh, uh, so I won't. <laughs> I know you're not in uh, Up West. I know it doesn't exist. I think you lied to me. Yes, I did. I'm a liar. I did. I lied. It's yes. OK. I think he's funny. You do? Oh, thank God for that. Oh, God. Well, I am known for my sense of humour in North London, you know. Listen to this, listen to this. Um, what do you call a man with a uh, wooden head? Edward. <laughs> <laughs> and what do you call a man with a three wooden heads? I don't know. I don't Edward know. Woodward. Even better. <laughs> 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 you're, you're, your knowledge of uh, British character actors is bloody good. Uh, maybe I like two. Eh? I say my name was Nino. Yes. It's Kevin. <laughs> Kevin? It's not very Italian. And I'm from Manchester. Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> but you look so Italian. My dad's from Venice. He runs a fleet of ice cream vans in Wally Range. Oh. <laughs> An idyllic childhood. How rare for the North. I was having a laugh with myself doing the accent. <laughs> Pissed. I live with my fella in Liverpool. If I was Nino, then Kevin wasn't being unfaithful. Well, you're, you're very good at the accent. Oh, ta. I'm at the Paul McCartney School of Speech and Drama. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. No, 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 don't be, don't be. What's no, wrong with no. being from Manchester, um, huh? <laughs> listen, um, would you mind terribly pretending to be Italian? You know? Would you mind terribly pretending to be on the box? <laughs> <laughs> A sec. No. Are you all right? Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe I'm the wife. Maybe I've always known that my husband was on the by bus. <laughs> but maybe I believed him when he said he was going to give it all up on account of little Liam. What? Our unborn love child. <laughs> I mean, what sort of a future has Liam got, eh? I didn't realise. No. Do us a favour. Do us all a favour. Do Liam a favour. Leave. I'm sorry. That's terrible. How could he? <laughs> Don't say nothing to him. I mean, he may look like a mild man of Jesse, but underneath it all, he's really handy with his fists. <sighs> oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. Oh, my God. <laughs> Linda, how could you? Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, that is nice. <laughs> easy, easy. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Is it? <laughs> I love that too. Oh, is isn't it, it typical? The one man I meet who can cope with my very occasional slight exaggerations turns out to be a lying, compulsive, violent man from Manchester. <laughs> How can someone change like that, going from so caring to so violent? Well, he was uh, mentally unbalanced. I know I've never claimed to be Italian. <laughs> <laughs> Rini has. Trying to get a discount on a tiramisu. 
Sister Beryl will respond. <clears throat> Let this be a lesson to you. The homosexual underbelly is a very dangerous area to explore. <laughs> what in Wales? Oh, oh. Tom, are you okay? Oh. What do you want? Oh, how heartwarming. Neighbours rallying hey, round. Jez, up. come closer, for my sight <clears throat> is poor. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm going to pull through, but it's touch and go. Touch and... Oh, go. What happened? We never got to that Feng Shui exhibition, and that's what happened. Feng Shui. A word of advice. Is that a real thing? Never trust a bogus <clears throat> eye tie. I came to see you, really, Linda. Oh, well, then. Well, you've seen me now. Get out. Oh, could we keep the noise down, please? I'm teetering on concussion. Quiet! <laughs> I just want to say thanks. Yeah, any time. Not for being rude. Not for jumping on me, not for always mentioning the fact that I'm black, and not for being pissed as a fart. Well, you've gone through most of her repertoire. What's left? <laughs> <laughs> for bringing up the football in front of Sue's. <clears throat> we had a really good chat last night, and well. These are my footballer's legs. <laughs> Ooh, jazz. I played today, scored an own goal, and got sent off for tackling a referee, but hey, <laughs> at least I played. Sue's and I are getting on better than ever now. You can say that again. Oh, wow. <laughs> Hi, Kat. Hey, I like the steak, Tom. You gays are streets ahead of us straights on the A to Z map of fashion. Oh, naff off. <laughs> Sorry I'm late, Jessie Pie. My rebirthing overran. I had a really difficult labour, and in the end they had to perform an emergency caesarean. Still, I'm here now. And they even gave me some corn placenta. So, that's tea sorted. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad we're talking properly. Placenta. And it's all down to the lovely Linda. <laughs> Ain't it the truth? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Pussy Willow, I love you. Oh, ditto, Dreambird. Mm, thanks, Linda. Thanks, Linda. Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's the end of that one. <laughs> I swear, these two kill me no matter what kind of shenanigans they get into, man. This show has been awesome as hell. Oh, my goodness. Well, that can have so many different interpretations, you know, depending on your, you know, your age and experience level and all that good stuff. But, uh, yeah, man, it does bring back a lot of memories as well. All right, y'all, man, that was going to be uh, Gimme, 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 Season 1, Episode 5, Saturday Night Diva. Well, <laughs> I don't know really how to like um, uh, break this one down other than I, I had moments um, when I hit 30 years old, you know, I'm, I'm 38 now, and uh, I just thought, oh my goodness, do I still know how to go out and have a good time, or do I know how to like, uh, you know, just loosen up and just, you know, see what can happen? Yeah. Well, turns out I still know how, but the only thing is, is that for the most part, it's like few and far in between because me, when I go out into the public you know, world and all that stuff, I tend to get into a lot of trouble. My mouth runs freely, especially if you get a little bit of drink up in me. I can be quite crazy. I think we all have that gene in us in some form or another. But uh, yeah, you got to go out. You know, you got to make sure that you stay connected to the public. You know, you got to a little bit. Maybe not so much as you continue to get older and older and all that stuff, but you know, I, I still have... You know, that feeling in me that sometimes, even though I'm working a lot lately and doing all this, that, hey, I got to go out, get me a drink or something. Got to hang out with some people that I'm familiar with and just, you know, shoot the breeze and see if you still got any connection with the outside world. You know what's funny about this is because um, Tom has hooked up with a couple of dudes uh, since the show has gone on. Linda still ain't got no play, man. Like, what's going on with that, man? You know, to be honest with you, this is just me. Some people might disagree or whatever. I don't think uh, Kathy Burke is this character is not, she ain't bad looking at all to me, you know. But then again, I've also told you guys in the past, I don't judge off looks all, you know, superficial. That's just not me. You know, her attitude, I could link with that just because of how goofy she is because I'm goofy as hell too. And I think we would have the most craziest time, you know, if our, my real life 
you know, me, what to me, her character. You know, I just think it would be a fun time. It'd be a nutty time, but it would be a good time. You know, I think that um, uh, a lot of people, in, you know, in one way or another, at least maybe once or twice in your life, have tried to, you know, hone in on somebody else's woman or man or something like that. You know, it's one thing if you um, get them to break, you know, because that, that typically can happen. You know, I'm not trying to discourage anybody. But um, for somebody to resist temptations, even if it's something that might not be too tempting to them, you know, some people look at it as admirable. Some people look at it as like fighting the foundational ways of yourself and all that. You know, I, I always had, I've always had temptations. We all had temptations. But I guess sometimes it depends, like, uh, if you have a fight with somebody that you're with, like there was not here, so to speak, a little bit, talking about the football and the whole whatever Suze was doing or whatever. But um, I just, like, I think about it as, yeah, you, you're going to piss me off sometimes because you're my lady. We've been together for a while. Conversations become repetitive. Behaviors become familiar. And maybe one little fight can make you want to stray. But some people know how to keep it under wraps. You know, round of applause to you guys. And some people just, you know, buckle under the pressure, which is also a normal thing, but it is discouraged. You know what I mean? It's frowned upon and all that good stuff. You know, I tend to have a many different ways that I feel about relationships, you know, monogamy and commitment and all that. But, you know, for the most part uh, in my life, I have uh, definitely uh, fought temptations, you know. I think if you were to put it on a percentage scale, like if I had 100 opportunities to be unfaithful and bad I've only taken advantage of like you know maybe three or four of them maybe <laughs> and that's a pretty damn good percentage you know what I mean some people will be like if it happens once then once a, always a, yeah whatever shut up you know quit it with your high expectations <laughs> but yeah man I'm hoping one day that Linda can actually get some play you know what I mean have a dude just run into her and then she can just have some fun she ain't got no dudes yet no good times that ain't cool. Linda, if I was in the show, man, I'd jump on you in a second, man. I ain't lying. Don't judge me, y'all. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, funny episode, man. And um, I'm sure you guys saw on my face some of the confusing looks I had on my face with some of the reference to certain things in here. Please, somebody school me on that in the comments, please. And I very much appreciate it. Very funny episode, like I said. And I'm going to go ahead and cut it off right there. Uh, one more time. Uh, gimme, 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 Season 1, Episode 5, Saturday Night Diva. And if you like that reaction, please boom on the like button for me one more time. Subscribe to the channel, ring that bell, and of course, as always, leave a nice comment for your boy. Uh, constructive critiques, leave a nice suggestion or request, and uh, throw a couple jabs, jokes, and zingers at me. Friendly dialogue, no drama here. Thank you for always remembering that. So uh, yeah, this is going to be Eddie BTV, uh, wrapping this one up one more again here. Uh, glad to get to another episode of a very funny show. Um, like I said, some of the references and some of the language, you know, kind of go over my head and I don't get it all, but that's what you guys are for. Hopefully you guys will school me on what's going on and then I can just have more laughs as I just read the comments because that's pretty much what's been happening lately. It's a very funny show, man. And, um, <clears throat> from the moment I saw Kathy Burke on that one Catherine Tate episode, uh, uh, episode, uh, the Christmas show. Um, yeah, I messed that up. Did I say episode? <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah, ever since I saw that one, I was very, um, uh, curious and intrigued by, uh, Kathy Burke. And then I saw one other clip of her in it. I forgot what the name of the show was. Um, was it Crashing or something like that? I don't know. I could have that wrong. But then all of a sudden, you guys, you know, a lot of you guys in the comments put me onto the show. And I avoided it for so many uh, weeks and months or whatever. And now I'm finally at it and I'm having a ball with this one. So nothing else to say other than can't wait to the next episode. The show is just really awesome and it makes me laugh a lot. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys are enjoying it with me. So yeah, thank y'all for tuning in one more time to this one. Uh, like I said, can't wait to get to the next one. They always get into some crazy twisted stuff. I think my favorite uh, character um, right now as the show goes on is Linda. You know, she's like, you know, she's the goofiest, says the goofiest things. And Tom is second, you know. I like Jez and Suze, but they're like a boring couple who have surprisingly very good times with each other. And the old lady, I forgot what her name was. I have to pay attention to that next time. But she's always just like, she seems like she's twisted, old and senile, or maybe high on something herself. But uh, those two receptionist ladies at the hotel had me laughing too. And they were just like, I am, they, they were pretty much high and drunk off something. They were just like, I'm ah, doing the thriller dance or some shit. But uh, <laughs> the, the show was awesome, man. It just like, it keeps me guessing. 
even though it's an old school show with old school references like late 90s early 2000s whatever but yeah i'm definitely having a good time so far and like i said for the millionth time i can't wait to get to the next one so like i said thank y'all for tuning in and until next reaction love and appreciate y'all peace <laughs>